Good evening, everybody. The Badgers will be under the lights tomorrow night as they take on UNLV in the home opener. And the fans can't wait. But some neighbors are a little hesitant because of how rare tomorrow night's game is. News 3's Mark Lovacut joins us. He is live outside Camp Randall to explain, Mark. Hi, Eric and Susan. Yeah, it's rare because of the fact that this game, for one, is a night game, but it's also a Thursday night game, and that has not happened in many, many years, and neighbors nearby say that could mean a long, loud, disruptive night. Inside Camp Randall, the stage is set. Just about everyone is ready for Badger football to begin. Outside the stadium, though, there's a bit of a worry. Our biggest concern, particularly about this game, was that it's on a school night. Regent neighbors say while they are diehard Badger fans, they also enjoy a good night's sleep. So there's some concerns about Thursday night's game. The fact that it's a school night and the fact that there will no doubt be some late night partying going on. And the big one is, you know, an hour, two hours, three hours after the game, people that are, are pretty well drunk going through the neighborhood making noise. There are some concerns about the neighborhood and things being loud. UW police say they're making an extra effort to help keep the peace and the noise down outside of Camp Randall. They understand neighbors share concerns and they're hoping fans are respectful, but just in case. We do have additional officers that are assigned outside the stadium to, to try to keep a handle on things that are going on outside. Well, they've contracted with the city of Madison to put extra help on overtime into the neighborhoods. Madison police will have 12 extra officers outside the stadium just for traffic and neighborhood issues. They're hoping they can quietly remind fans to be respectful of the neighbors. Neighbors who have been working with the UW ever since the Thursday night game was announced say they hope the plan works. We're going to learn. Everybody's going to learn from it. In addition to the increased police presence, restrictions have also been placed on nearby beer gardens, some of them opening as early as noon tomorrow, seven hours before the big game. Beer, uh, bars with outdoor parties have agreed to stop serving beer tomorrow night at 9.45. Also, the party has to be shut down and clear a half hour after the game. Some restrictions in place, some uh, people uh, giving a little bit of an extra eye on the parties outside, but a lot of people very, very excited for tomorrow night's big game. No doubt. Mark Lovett got live at the camp. Mark, thanks.